Assalamualaikum guys, this is me, Shahriyar Mubarak on my channel Hassan Ali with another video. Uh, well, after many days, I'm going to talk about British politics in general and what's happening in Britain. I was about to make video on something else regarding British politics or the duplicity of uh, Keir Starmer, the Prime Minister and as the leader of opposition and David Lemmy, who is the new Foreign Secretary of United Kingdom, what he used to say when he was in uh, opposition and now as he's standing in the dispatch box to answer the questions of uh, MPs regarding Gaza and the foreign affairs, how he has taken or how he has taken a different stance and how he has changed or his tone changed or his views changed because he used to demand uh, the former uh, Foreign Secretary Lord uh, David Cameron about the legal advice which were given to the Conservative Tory Party's government by their lawyer last year, uh, uh, by their lawyer this year around uh, January, February. He kept on asking them to release, but now when he is in office, David Lammy, he actually himself says that he is not going to tell or release or tell the MPs that what was the legal advice given to the Tory party and what essence or what text that legal advice or what ramifications that legal advice has because they are not stopping the arms sales to Israel. They are funneling the money and the arms to Israel. The F-35s, uh, many important components and uh, uh, com 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 components or it's it been assembled in, a, in, in the United Kingdom. It is being provided. It's been provided to the state of Israel. Why they have not stopped? I don't know. Yes, they did few good things. Uh, yes, they did a good thing by opening up or restoring the UNRWA's uh, funding, which was stopped by Israel, which was stopped by United Kingdom after Israel accuses UNRWA to be involved in 7th October 2023's incident and uh, UNRWA's workers to, to, be employed, uh, to be involved in 7th October 2023's incident. But the Israeli allegation were never materialized on the ground. They didn't provide any proof, any uh, evidence regarding that the people who, who or the Palestinians who are working in UNRWA or the UNRWA staff is anyhow involved in the 7th of October operation which was carried on by the Hamas and Islamic Jihad fighters. They failed to provide any relationship between UNRWA and the 7th of October incident because UNRWA has from the day one categorically denied that there any employee or anybody who has been employed or been contracted by UNRWA was involved in 7th October 2023. But many countries like United States, United Kingdom, Germany, France, uh, Spain, Norway, Netherlands, they are I am uh, Netherlands. They stopped the UNRWA funding immediately by saying this. But Israel, who cooked up or who conducted this lie about UNRWA's involvement, failed to prove any evidence. Many of the countries like Spain, Norway, Germany, France, they restored the UNRWA funding, Japan as well, but United Kingdom and United States didn't do it. Last week, United Kingdom restored the UNRWA funding, but and United States is still not uh, uh, still not have uh, started or uh, re restarted or uh, again uh, start, uh, resumed the UNRWA funding, but United Kingdom did so. It's a good step, but the better of the fact is that if you look at the House of Commons debate, where many MPs, barring one or two. Uh, barring two MPs, because their exception was they straightforwardly asked the government and the defense uh, and the uh, Secretary of uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, David Lammy, to stop the uh, arms supplies to United to Israel. Many other who say that Israel is living in danger um, uh, in the danger neighborhood or in the dangerous neighborhood as David Lemmy himself said that we cannot do that, we cannot stop the arms supplies to Israel. Only Zara Sultana, I remember, and 
the other Jamie Coburn and John McDonnell. They were two or three people who asked the United Kingdom's government to stop the arms supplies. If you have restored the UNRWA funding, it's a good thing, but you need to stop the arms supply. But the Prime Minister himself, Keir Starmer, I think a couple of days back, he said that we are not going to do that. They said that ICG has given a decision, but they say many rosy things, but they do not do anything which can be materialized or which can be implemented because now Keir Starmer do not have this uh, uh, way out of saying that or this uh, reason that I am in uh, the opposition. Now he is in power. He is in government. He is the Prime Minister of United Kingdom. He controls UK. He controls UK's foreign policy. UK's foreign policy or UK's foreign minister. Report to him. So why the hell they are not accepting or recognizing Palestinian statehood? They are all against this deal which is signed by Hamas and Fatah and other 12 groups in a meeting yesterday. They are all against it. They are saying that this is bad, this is that. But the thing is that if you think that Hamas or the uh, or the, the elements like Hamas should not be there, then you need to recognize Palestinian state and you need to stop arming and funding Israel. You need to stop this war. So duplicity is evident in the behavior of Keir Starmer's government. And if you listen to their uh, minister's remarks, even the voting on the king's uh, speech the amendments which were presented by Zara Sultana and one or two other MPs regarding the stopping of Israeli um, uh, 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 arms embargo on Israel, it has not been approved. Many of your uh, Labour's MP tried to slit it away, try to rug it under the rug, try to uh, uh, put it under the rug. But the matter of fact is that they are saying many big things, but they are not but uh, practically doing anything to prove that they are not like conservative Tory party. Only appointing Richard Harmer as the Attorney General of United Kingdom do not mean that you are, uh, or do, do not mean that you need to end your response to Israel there. You need to condemn Israel's genocidal war on Gaza. You need to stop arming Israel. You need to show that you are neutral and you care for the Palestinian people and you care for those Muslims of Britain's, Britain Muslims who voted for you in huge number. That's why you got this huge majority. The other thing which is really important and I think these sort of things shows that Kia Starmer's mindset and how Kia Starmer thinks of uh, common people or the people of United Kingdom. He promised many things during his campaign trail. He think, he said that I will going to do this, I will going to scrap the two child benefit cap. But now when the SNP's motion, SNP and Labour has a great love affair because last year in the month of November when SNP put the motion for ceasefire, it was 65 Labour MPs, 65 Labour MPs who supported that motion. It was around for, uh, around 48 to 50 people of SNP and 65 Labour MPs who voted to scrap that motion where the whip was given by the Labour um, uh, um, front bench not to vote or, or uh, stay up, up uh, or abstain from the voting. But SNP's motion was chosen. This time around again, the uh, Speaker chose the mo SNP's motion to scrap the two-child benefit cap. But... The twist in the tale is that that seven MPs, seven Labour MPs who are predominantly from um, or their their allegiance or their ideological allegiance were leftist. They were with most say that they were very near to the Corbyn era or the Corbyn Chronicles, as a few say that after because those seven MPs are now being suspended by Keir Starmer for defying the whip. This shows that how much democracy is in there in the Britain politician system, in the West Ministers' democracy, in West Ministers' parliamentary system, how much democracy there and how much uh, how much dissent is being curtailed by United Kingdom, by the former uh, um, human rights lawyer, Mr. Keir Starmer. So he suspended seven MPs and most of them were leftists or have the ideological, um, ideological incline towards the left and their 
two of them, especially John McDonnell and Rebecca Lord Bailey, they were both near to uh, Sir, uh, to Jeremy Corbyn. They were inclined towards his ideology or the ideology of the left. They were suspended. Seven MPs have been suspended. Imran Hussain, Apsana Begum, Zara Sultana. I am a bit surprised for Apsana Begum, but she did something good. Uh, Imran Hussain and Zara Sultana are not shocker uh, are, are not uh, sh the sh shockers for me because Zara Sultana is keep on pressing the issue of Gaza. She is the one who openly said that the new Labour government need to stop arming Israel, stop the export of the components and the arms to Israel. And Imran Hussain is one of those who is, uh, they are all uh, one of those who is there speaking for Gaza. And they are also took the stand because 400,000 British children are in poverty according to the records. Because since this two child benefit cap, many of these children are living in below the poverty line, as the British media says. Imran Hussain, Apsana Begum, Zara Sultana, John McDonald, Richard Bergen, Ian, ba Ian Burns, Rebecca, Lord Bailey, they all voted with the SNP's motion to scrap two child benefit cap. And they are now been purged by Labour. They are been suspended for six months and their behavior will be monitored by Headmaster Sakhias Jama if they didn't vote with the government or continue to uh, you know blindly vote for Labour's government or Labour's legislation without have any incline towards its, uh, to their ideology or how they think or how they look at the things at uh, in, the, in, in, in the House of Commons and how they behave. So the whip will be restored in next year. But this actually shows us that how these brute huge majorities can do with the mindset of leadership. They got 412 seats, so seven MPs, less seven MPs. They are not on around 405 now. The seven MPs will now sit as independent for six months. But this shows that how how much of a Democrat K.S. Jammer is in reality and how he is curtailing or suppressing the dissent in his own party. So you we're going to see what he is going to do with the people of Britain in near future. This is just for this video. We'll be back very soon. Take care.